Hello everyone, I'm making this next video to show you how to customize and modify your Huffy trike, drift trike, by removing these, or should I say replacing these annoying, noisy plastic rear wheels with an air fill tires that I found off of a baby infant stroller which I found free on Craigslist. A lot of people either sell them for cheap or give them away free. A baby stroller. And these are the air-filled ones. Um, you just have to remove the shaft, the bolt, and then she is ready to be installed. So let me show you some of the results that I have. As you have seen my previous video of my first green trike, I installed the front wheels from the baby stroller. I, I want them small to give it that low profile. You know, I. I could have used this but I decided I'm gonna go ahead and use the smaller wheels to give it that low stance low profile look and it handles and rides great but I'm gonna put the larger wheels on this guy that I already got painted and this is my second generation Huffy trike that I heavily modified with custom seat and tires rides great handles great so with that said let's get on to this guy like I say the reason I'm doing this video is just to show you simple ways to save these these huffy trike they're being abandoned and left sitting in the rain or some barn somewhere because either the wheels has worn out or the kids have just got tired of them but I can you know customize it make it more fun make it more quieter smoother and just a lot of fun to to ride okay so what we're gonna do is after you remove all the shaft and bolts and nuts and the washer from the wheels like I said take your basic tools and we are gonna remove the rear wheels Boom. How easy is that? And then you're left with the shaft. Thank God it came with the metal shaft. Strong enough to hold two, 200 pounds or so, they say. Okay, let's get these on. So the first thing I will have to do, or you have to do, is once you get these taken off from a baby stroller you have to remove these c-clip it is a butt to get off but once they're off it's heaven so what I use is the screwdriver and I pry the, the bitch out of it okay I'm not gonna do a video and have you watch me do it because it's gonna take a little bit of time so I will fast forward or edit to the next part but you want to get the c-clip off okay by the magic of video editing I got this stupid c-clip off just like that and take these washer off you might need them later always save all washers pull 
to rot out. You won't need them. But save them just in case you need to use the baby stroller again. And you wind up popping more kids. Hey, you can save the stroller way over there. So anyway, take that out. And this is ready to be installed. It has a washer and um, a bearing, sorry washer bearing love it do the next one so I wanted to show you what's gonna happen so what we want to do is first you want to put some washers and you're gonna have to kind of like experiment and, and try try and error test it out like that and one small one so that it touches the bearing here like that This is what she looks like. You notice there's a, quite a bit of space here. So if you watch my previous video, whoops, the bearing came out. Okay. If you watch my previous video, what I did is I used an old unused socket, socket wrench as a filler to put in the space. And if you don't have enough space there to screw, then you take, remove an uh, extra washer. So, see how that goes. down okay so because I had a little bit of troubles with the washer and the spacing what I finally figured out is with this particular trike you have to put a washer the socket two washers here and then three washers there because not all baby tires uh, wheels are the same but as you can see she spins freely and the bolt is not moving so you want to tighten it just enough that it doesn't wobble so much left and right it doesn't wobble so much but turn freely and let the let the bearing do the work just like that and you want to WD-40 and you know, add a little bit of oil before you run it but that's how she goes on very simple so you're gonna have to test play with it and I wind up removing this where the other trike over there I needed this for spacing Let me clean up the lens here for uh, for 
the gaps and the extra space in the shaft so sometimes you need to leave these on and it goes like right there these are the the stopper on the the baby infant and it locks in so the stroller doesn't move well this is a handy thing to have to get that spacing you know it might go here it might go there but found out that I don't need it and you need it only the socket uh, spacing so let's get the other one on so I got the tires on them finally now she looks great yeah. beautiful now I have one of a kind I don't know of anyone in Oregon, my state of Oregon, who has customized like this. I might have seen one, but they put a really small wheelbarrow size wheel tires in the back. Mines are, I think mines are a little bit better, more comfortable. Let's get her on the road and see how she handles. Handles great. Just don't turn too fast. Now she rides like a true trike. One of a kind. Easy to custom, easy to modify. Just like that. Okay. Stay tuned for my other, uh, my other customization of these bikes. Or should I say trike? Proper name for them? Thank you. See you later.